The energy source used for human activities mostly comes from fossil fuel. The tendency to use fossil fuel as a main energy source is feared to deplete the fossil fuel stock itself because fossil fuel is a non-renewable energy source. Burning fossil fuel could also emit carbon dioxide in large amount. Carbon dioxide or CO2 is one of the many greenhouse gases that could cause global warming. Renewable energy sources and technology are currently being researched and developed to mitigate global warming effects and to anticipate when we cannot depend on the conventional fossil fuel anymore. Renewable energy is the energy produced from natural sources like solar power, wind, and water that are available in large quantities. The energy that comes from solar or wind power is the main candidate to support energy needs which unfortunately has not been used to its full potential by Indonesia. Another renewable energy source alternative that could be produced in large quantities is biofuel. Biofuel can come from a wide variety of sources and can be roughly divided into four categories or generations. The first generation biofuels are made from comestibles that contain sugar, starches or vegetable oil that will be converted into fuel. These fuels include biodiesel, bioalcohols, ethanol, and biogases, like methane captured from landfill decomposition. Second generation biofuels are made from non food crops or agricultural waste, such as wood chips or grass, especially lignocellulosic biomass. The third generation biofuels are made from algae or other quickly growing biomass sources. The fourth and last generation biofuels are made from specially engineered plants that may have higher energy yields or are able to be grown on non-agricultural land or bodies of water. The use of comestibles for first generation biofuels could cause a dilemma between overcoming food crisis and energy crisis. Even though the second generation biofuel could reduce the amount of waste and doesn't use comestibles as its source, the making process is more complex compared to the first generation biofuel. The third generation biofuel which is made from algae has a high potential to be developed further. Algae are non-flowering plants that have short generation cycles and fast population growth. The total species of algae were predicted to be more than 50,000 species. With the right technology, algae production could reach between 150 to 300 tons per year and could produce 45,000 to 90,000 liters of bio-crude oil. The basic concept of making the biofuel from algae is the cultivation of the algae in large quantities and then it will be harvested to get the lipids extracted. Algae can also be cultivated in wastewater treatment ponds, both in domestic and industrial wastewater. Algae from those treatment ponds have an important role in removing the nutrients, mostly nitrogen and phosphorus. Furthermore, algae can also accumulate heavy metals. Using algae for wastewater treatments offers some benefits. It treats wastewater, recovers wastewater nutrients as fertilizer, removes carbon dioxide and creates biofuel. Algae can be harvested using coagulation and then pumped into a reactor with controlled pressure and temperature, converting the biomass into biocrude oil. Biocrude oil, like any other crude oil, could be converted into LPG, kerosene, diesel, and other products. Algae-based biofuel has been tested by Maersk, a shipping company to replace diesel. Even though it has not been tested for land transportation, the prospect of using it as a marine fuel is very promising mainly because the shipping industry could consume up to 350 million tons of oil every year. This video is presented by Himpunan Mahasiswa Teknik Lingkungan Institut Teknologi Bandung.